Okay, good morning. Um, I hope you are in good health. So before I start uh, to the lectures, it will be better if you start by praying. Hopefully, it will be easier for us to learn. Ready, start. Amen. <clears throat> so today's class is about the dy dynamic programming. I will uh, share my screen. So week nine is about uh, dynamic programming. So what is dynamic programming? It is such as um, optimizations or algorithm that we want to design the paradigm. So um, my experience if I use the dynamic programming is about how to find the shortest path. Shortest path are with, uh, to the one locations to another location. So not uh, the goals if to using the dynamic programming is only to find the shortest path because we have to minimize our cost. If you're talking about the logistic uh, industry, we have to find um, which locations. If you want to, for example, from Jakarta to Bandung, we have to find the shortest uh, path to Jakarta to Bandung so we can minimize the cost. So the goal is for dynamic programming is about to finding the shortest path to location. So this is the key of idea of the dynamic programming. So <clears throat> the, if you're talking about the elements of the dynamic programming, we have the big problems. We want to break up into the later problem. So letters, we can uh, seize the problem from the bottom to up or the up to bottom. So uh, the goals of the dynamic programming, if you want to uh, get the information how to find the shortest path with a most key edge. So key is kinds of the step or location or step ahead from the location A to location B. So the goals we want to find the shortest path with the most k edges. So how to find the minimum um, path? So we can find uh, by this criteria. So the optimal solution of a problem can be expressed in terms of the optimal solutions of smaller sub problems. That's why I already said about now, if we want to use the dynamic programming, we can see the problem from the bottom to up or up to bottom. Yeah. For example, if you have the B for the K degree with the B, you want to minimize from the locations are next ahead. So we have a K minus one. K is our edge. So with the B locations. So we want to minimize every locations or every step with A, minimus A with the degree of D, key, power key minus one. So this is our step ahead or our next locations. So we also have to find the width within our two locations, A, B, A to B. For example, this one, uh, we want to find from start locations A to location B. So we have to find the minimum, minimize to uh, locations if we want to go for to locations B. So we call this as our optimal substructure. So this term of this function is also called as optimal substructure. <clears throat> so the sub problems sometimes overlap a lot. So for example, if uh, we are lots of different entries of the DK, so we have to find the DK minus one. For example, if we want to um, from Jakarta to Jakarta, we have to pass uh, Cirebon, we have to pass uh, Semarang, we have to pass Tegal, probably. So that's, that, uh, that's the example of the K, uh, the K minus one. If, uh, that's uh, because the Semarang and the Tegal is the previous uh, cities that we, if we want to go to the Jakarta. So uh, the goal is we want to find the specific uh, road, the set, uh, specific uh, sp uh, state that's uh, minimize our cost. You want to go to another cities. So that's uh, the basic concept of dynamic programming. So sometimes this means that you can uh, save time by solving a sub problems, just want a strong the answer. So we call this overlapping sub problems because uh, for example, if you want to, uh, if we uh, go to another city, you have to pass many, many locations or many, many uh, steps. So sometimes uh, we have the overlapping sub problems. So we have to concern uh, many, many um, iterations, many, many combinations, uh, what combinations uh, can minimize our cost. So this is the goals of dynamic programming. <clears throat> so the elements of the programming, uh, we can also discuss about the optimal substructure. 
the optimal substructures is about the optimal solutions to sub problems and also sub solution to the optimal solutions of the original problem. So uh, if you want if you want to solve another problems, we have a uh, plan. We have also have the sub problems. We have also have sub solutions now because the goals of optimizations, the goals of the computing, we can get many many um, problem solving. If you want to uh, get more what area of the problem. So we also uh, can get the optimal solutions, the various of optimal solutions to solving our problems. So about the overlapping sub problems, uh, sometimes uh, it can be uh, show up again and again because uh, there's many, many options that we uh, we can finish the, we can solve the problems. Sometimes uh, we have to also concerns about the iteration, about the com uh, complexity of the programming. If, you, if you're using the Python, if you're using the R, so sometimes uh, it will be give us the sub problems overlapping. So how do we tackle the overlapping sub problems? First, we can keep a table of solutions to the smaller problems. For example, if we have the problems, we have to uh, we have to uh, uh, think the smallest part how to solving this problem. So sometimes the big pictures. We also uh, have to find another side, another angels to see how to tackle this problem. So the goals of to uh, minimize the dynamic programming, we have to concerns how to keep a table of solutions to the smaller problems. And the second, we can use the solutions in the table to the solver bigger solution, uh, bigger problem as well. So that's why I'm uh, talking about the if you uh, if you want if we uh, see the big problems or big pictures, we can get uh, the solution for the up to bottom at the bottom to up. So it depends on us how we see the problems. So sometimes we also get the various of the, of the solutions from all the problems. And the end, we can use the informations we collected along the way to find the optimal solution. That's what I'm talking about if you're using the programming, either the linear programming, non-linear programming, then programming, or until the Markov chain, Monte Carlo, MCMC, the goal is only to find the optimal solution. So for the dynamic programming, the various of example, we only can use to find the sort of spec to locations or to the logistic venue. So at the end, we can use information we collected a long way to find the optimal solution. So for example, you can using the recover the sort of spec for the dynamic programming. <clears throat> this is what I'm talking about. Um, if we want to solve the problems, we can use the top down or bottom up. So this is the critical thinking if we want to implement the dynamic programming. For example, um, to solve the problems, we can get um, the top or, or uh, top down or the bottom up to solve the our problems. So for example, this is one for the bottom to up. So we can get our critical thinking about the what we just saw. We can find the solve the small problems with the first uh, D0, for example, this one, our first step until we can get the, uh, our goals to solve any problems. Our other side, we also find uh, can find the bigger problem with the fill in uh, D1. So we can start with the uh, D power zero, D1, or next step uh, one ahead, and until uh, the, the bigger problems. Or we can get the information for the fill in D <clears throat> power n minus two. And finally, we can get the solve the problem with the dn minus one. For example, this one uh, is uh, our step, our first step, or d, uh, d0. This one is our d1. This one is our d minus two. And this one is our d minus one to solve the problems. So it's only for the example and or, or for the illustration. Or we can using the critical thinking from the top down approach. So this is uh, how we see the problems, think of it uh, like a recursive algorithm. So this kind of the linear programming using the recursive. So we, we can solve in the big problems. We can use the recurse to solve the smaller problems. And those recurse to solve are smaller problems. For small, 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 until the smaller. So this only for the top to down. We using the how the big idea of the problem we can uh, solving one by one, the so smaller until the smallest one. And the difference from divide and concur 
is only for the memorization and how to keep track of what small problems you've already solved to prevent resolving the same problem twice. So keep in mind that if you want to solve in the problems, we uh, sometimes also find another same track or another same solution. So it's, it's common if you're using the dynamic programming or the another computational programming. Sometimes we also can get the resolving the same problem twice. <clears throat> so for example, for example, if we're talking about the top down, so actually it's also a set of the BF or the Raymond Ford algorithm. If we, uh, you read um, for the book more clearly, so it is uh, the resume or the sort of how to understand the idea of the top down. For example, if we're talking about the Raymond Ford algorithm first, we can get the side cut of initialize of a bunch of empty tables from DK for K0 until uh, N minus one. For us, uh, one step ahead, we, we can get a uh, DK. So we can fill in the zero with the start for B in V with the functions of B, uh, Berman Ford, with the helper, this is our parameter, D, S, B, N minus one. So this is our parameter to solving the Berman Ford. So sometimes in the, if another time we have the homework, the homework uh, sometimes also provide the information of the G, S, B, N, N minus one. So for the set of the functions of the Bellman Ford, so we can uh, solving this parameter with this uh, criteria. For H, A, so that uh, the A and B in uh, I and also for A equals to B. So if we have this condition for the table later, so we can uh, minimize by this criteria. We also need the parameter of the G, S, B, and K. But sometimes, um, if you're using the demand for algorithm, sometimes also we don't want to keep all those tables run because if we have the many, many problems, sometimes the problem, uh, the table also will complicated. That's why we, we have to see what kind of parameter can be helpful to information if you're using the Bellman Ford criteria. So sometimes, at the same time, probably not the best way to think about the Bellman Ford because uh, this is only for the dynamic programming pedagogy only. So the, uh, sometimes the, the big problem that uh, we're using the Bellman Ford, we have to um, calculate, we have to compete using the uh, competing technique. If you're using the R, you're using the Python, sometimes the, we also are uh, hard to find the start of the day K minus one with the parameter A. But sometimes we can store it, uh, store it so we can never have to do it again because the idea is we want to solve one by one of every step of every criteria or every locations before we go forward to the another city. So sometimes it is also uh, complicated to see the to see or to get the various of step or various of the combinations to the location. This is that uh, I'm talking about, for example, this one, we want to identify the repeated nodes and don't do the same uh, work twice. For example, if we have the D and minus one or U, we have U and B. So if we go forward to every node, for example, we have two um, informations. For example, uh, U and V, we have the X, Y, A. We also have the A and X. For example, we want to go forward to Z, T, V, or X, and V. For example, U and V, we have the same criteria, we same A. So we can eliminate this information because this information sometimes contains same information and also provide weight. So sometimes we also have the, the similar information. We have also similar variables. Sometimes it also get a measure for the weight. So sometimes uh, the complicated weighted also will be a uh, decrease our accuracy. So if you're talking about the computational computational modeling, if you're talking about the high performance computing later, because the applications of the dynamic programming is large, not only for get the locations, it's also talking about the spatial. If you want to uh, discuss it about the spatial later, about the spatial regression, that's why we have to minimize every problem to get the minimum weighted to every hour modeling. 
So for example, uh, these are the example of the recursion tree. So we have to eliminate one location or another location because it contains stem location. So we can um, eliminate some of the variables or some of the locations which is not necessary, which is uh, maybe complicated to solving the problems. So it's only for simulations. I can eliminate some locations to minimize the deck or minimize the three rec uh, recursions. For example, if I only using the UNV, so maybe I can only concern with the X, Y, A, Z, and to get further to another locations. So it is only for the idea how using the dynamic programming. So later maybe you can eliminate these uh, locations or maybe you can eliminate uh, these these locations. It's up to you. Sometimes um, every researchers also different um, concept tool to solve their problems. So maybe you can try one by one to get the optimization value to solving the dynamic programming. It's okay. <clears throat> so actually what we learned about the idea of dynamic programming. So the dynamic programming is about the algorithm design because we're talking about the how to find the shortest, uh, shortest path or shortest locations, for example, like these visualizations, if we uh, want to discuss about the top down approach. So about the dynamic programming, it's very useful when there's an optimal substructure. For example, later, if we, uh, if later you working about the industry area, there are, uh, if we're talking about the logistic uh, resource, there's many, many step ahead for find the shortest path. We also have to find which location uh, can be minimized our cost. So sometimes it's also good for the optimal substructure because um, the optimal sub solutions to a big problem can be break up into the sub substation solutions of the sub problems. That's all talking about the, if we uh, want to solve another problem, sometimes we get another choice or we can uh, get another insight or another combination to solving the sub problems. And the threat of the idea of the programming, it's more useful when there are the overlapping sub problems because uh, we can use the memorizations, aka put in table to prevent the repeated work. Yeah, that's, uh, that's already mentioned before. If we want to solve the problems, we also keep in mind um, letter to prevent the repeated work or repeated same problem. So we have to memo, we have to uh, remind that. And also about the language programming, it be uh, power, powerful because I, I said before, we also have the different, different CD problem, different insight or different uh, solving the problem. So we can using the idea from the bottom up or top down, it's up to you. If you want convenient to using bottom up is okay. Or you, uh, you want to see, uh, if you want to use the top down, it's also okay. It doesn't matter. So about dynamic programming is a fancy name for a pretty common sense idea. So sometimes we want we don't want to duplicate our work if you don't have to. So also we want to prevent the uh, repeated work. So dynamic programming can solve that issue. <clears throat> so why dynamic programming? Dynamic programming um sometimes um, because my area is about the computational methodology, about the high performance computing, it uh, refers to finding the optimal program. And the largest example is to find the shortest route, which is, uh, is a plan of the program. And sometimes if we discuss about dynamic programming, it also refers to the fact that it's multiple stage because we have various combinations of various examples, how to find best optimum to solving our logistic uh, problems. And sometimes it also the fancy sounding name about the, about the dynamic programming. So why you have to um, study about dynamic programming? Actually, Richard Bellman invented the name is uh, 1915 century. At the time, he was a working of the RAND corporations, Richard Mark working on the RAND corporations which was basically working for the Air Force and government projects, which are needy flashy names to get funded for. If you see, uh, if you read book later, uh, there's also autobiography, it's impossible to use the word dynamic in the project sense. I thought that programming was a good name. It was sometimes not even a congressman called Project Two. Yeah. So uh, about the 1950s centuries, 
there's many many um technique about the optimizations one of them is very popular is about dynamic programming because uh and that edge is about the industrial revolution that's why a dynamic programming is very powerful to solving many many issues about the logistic resource about the industry resource so that's why in 19th century dynamic programming is very very useful and very very popular so this one another example of the using the dynamic programming one of them is the fluid reversal algorithm so fluid reversal algorithm is also how to find the sort of speed with kind of the old paris sort of speed or apsp so this is uh, we want to the know the sort of speed from the u to v so for example, we have to we have the variable u, v, s, and t for all pairs. So u and v of our practice in the graph. So you want to get, for example, for u to uh, to v, we can uh, the, the s uh, probably we can uh, go for the u, v, and t. Or we also have to concerns about the s. We can using the u, s, v, and to t. So we, so this is the example of the source and destinations. So sometimes this value prof, uh, prof, profited in the problems so don't worry about that so that's uh this i said about if you're using the dynamic programming is about how to find the pairs combinations of the pairs of uh, locations to get the shortest path or the larger spread for every location that's why we're using the dynamic programming hmm. so how to using the for uh, the void version algorithm so uh this kind of algorithm is about the IPRS sort of path or apsp we can using the uh this kind of the criteria so sometimes it is also we can get the negative edge for every um uh, every location sometimes we have to avoid the negative value in uh network graph so how to using that so this is the criteria for all s in g so we can run the belmont fort in the last preview slide we can using the same as well, same techniques, same thinking way to the G starting at the S. So also we have to call, uh, we have to concerns about the time O, we just, we have the informations and and NN, or also we can get the information of the O and power two and M. So this kind of information is about the step ahead of the, we, we, uh, we can reach the locations or another uh, step ahead. So we can using that, uh, information of the Floyd parcel algorithm. <clears throat> for example, for example, it's about the optimal subsector. So sub problem for all price UV. So we have the U and V here. That's what I was talking about. If you want to get or the minimize of the cost, if we have to cut off every location which is not, not necessary. That's why we have to call, uh, we can um, find another example of another combinations or another choice to get the best way or the shortest way to the U to the V, start U to V. So we can start by pairs of U and V, find the cost of the shortest path from U to V, so that all the internal uh, of the internal practice on the path are in the one until the K minus one, for this our step. For example, K until the K plus one and until K minus one. So. Our dynamic programming will spin in the end by end arrays for the day zero, day one, until day and minus one for every arrays. Every arrays for every matrix. Later, we can get the matrix information from that. So this is our step ahead. We can use in the practice step from one until k minus one. So this is our, our step. One, two, until k minus one to get further to the V. So this is the shortest path from U to V through the blue set. So this our locations, it has length day K minus one UV because we have start location from U and the end point of location V. So this is our step which we can get information from the K minus uh, one for every D. So this is how to find the optimal substructure in dynamic programming. So, the question is, how can we find uh, day k for uv using the day k minus one? So we can, uh, for example, letter can get the many, many idea how to find that. So one of them, if we using the day k uv, is the cost of the sort of path from u to v, so that the internal practice on the path are in the one until the k, because it's our, our path. 
So this is our vertice uh, one until k. So this is our start point u to v. So we can maybe using the uh, u uh, three one two k minus one or two v, or we can uh, pass another another uh, edge or another location to get to the v. So sometimes we can get many many combinations or many many. Um, you can compare one by one um, the combinations to get uh, the shortest value from the u to the v. So this why I'm talking about first one. If you want to get the 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 concerns about the u to v, we can uh, something like this. We can using the uh, start from u to three one. We can forget two and just using the k minus one until the v. Or if you think the two is also necessary. So you can using the u, uh, u three one two and until the v. So you can uh, eliminate k minus one. It's okay. So this is only the idea of thinking how you solve your problems. So for example, from the steps, the goals if you're using the day k uv, we can get the information from the day k minus one u and v because we can we start our problem from start from u until end of the v. So this part was the shortest before, so it's still uh, the shortest now. So this is only the example. If I'm talking about about uh, how to find the best way u to v with the largest part, so uh, maybe I can solving by like this. So if you think two is also good uh, idea, you can use it too. You can also forget about minus one. This is up to you to see the problems. So test uh, So another another idea to solving these problems. For example, the case two, we need the factor k. For example, we also need the another idea or another plan. If uh, we think the the k minus one is also not helpful, or another information in this area is not full, so we can set our alternative uh, alternative problem solving. It's up to you. For example, in another example, I make the another plan using like this. If we start using the u until the v. We can get under to uh, three locations: one, or moving to k another distance, or just go forward to the two with the k minus one until the v. So it's up to you. If you think like this is also useful, you can solve something like this to so using the shortest path to logistic resource. So, so I think the last example are more useful to solving the logistic uh, resource. So. From the case two continuous, uh, I can solve like this. Suppose there are no negative cycles, so we also concerns of the information of the edge is also have to positive. So if later this value should be negative, you just um, eliminate that that uh, edges because the value should be positive. All of the vertex in every um, cut distance. So suppose there are no negative cycles, then W log this is our weighted. The shortest path from the u to v through one to k. This is very very simple. So if the path passes through the k, it will be most uh, like this. For example, this one is the most um the most uh powerful answer to solving this uh this question. I can using the start from u to v. I make the alternative another alternative uh, location to solving that information. For u to v with the location to three one k two and k minus one, so I use I can using like this. So if so, this part is the shortest part from the u to k. If you using we also find the distance with the k minus one. This uh, the idea. So this part is the shortest part from u to k through one k minus one. So subpads of shortest part are the shortest part. So it is similar just like the this part. So this is the general equations to solving this information. You can using the day k u v, which is or equals to day k minus one with the criteria of u and the k step or the vertex plus day k minus one uh, day k minus one with uh, the vertex k with the v information. So this is our general equations to solving the dynamic programming. So sometimes we can derivative uh, this value. With this information, how can we find the dk using the dk minus one? So, um, we can we can minimize the cost function of the uh, functions of the programming like this. We have the dk uv. We have to minimize this information. 
because the goals from the programming we want to minimize every every problem so that's why we also uh that's why we put the minimize equation here minimize they came minus one uv and they came in minus one uk from every edges for every k step ahead with the plus they came minus one with the k and v so case one this one for the cost of sort of spread so we have the one until k minus one and this case case two is the cost of sort of spread from u to k and then we want to get information from the k to v through the one until k minus one so this idea it also can get information of the optimal structure that's why i was talking about if we want to see the big problems we can using the smaller problems we we can eliminate uh, is important or not if you want that uh, if you're using the variables now sometimes we can solve the big problems using by smaller problems so if you're talking about the overlapping problems similars we have also d minus one kv and also can be used to help compute with the d or k uv for lots of different of the u sometimes for example if uh if you want to start from location u until location v sometimes we can get many many criteria or many many alternative to um to start u until v so sometimes it is very complicated to compute that yeah, still we can use the dynamic programming to this uh, problem issue. So the dynamic programming is very, very powerful to using to find the solution of the sorter's path. So another example is about the Floyd Warsaw algorithm. So if you're talking about the Floyd Warsaw algorithm, the best is one to get further or the zero vertices with the edge directly from U to V. So this is the uh, studio code Later you can uh, read more details about the how to make the pseudo code every algorithm so to solve in the floyd varzel i make the um the criteria or pseudo code like this you can initialize n by n arrays for every day k for every step with the k until uh, start from zero until the end so for the day k u to u use our start point we can uh, get the zero for the all u for the lk so because it is our starters point that's why we can set the zero so later if you want if you want to get forward to the v point because this, this one is our end point so the the value will be infinity because sometimes we can get the various of combinations of various of alternative to start from u to v that's why the side of code should be infinity because we cannot find uh because there's many many alternative Maybe we can get the two, three, four, until maybe 100, 1,000 alternative. Yeah, that's why uh, I can put it as infinity because we can get many, many combinations or alternative way to, to start from U until to V. For all U not equals to V for all K. So this is the criteria or the side of code of the Floyd Russell algorithm. So another one, if we start from the zero or the, the zero, Start from u until v we also have to find the way that that's why because every step ahead for example step one to step two step two until to step three it will be provided every weighted so we also have to um we also have to know how to find the alternative way to minimize our weighted because if you're talking about the high performance computing Hyperparameter computing, we also have to concerns about the minimum weighted because the maximum of weighted will be decrease our accuracy. So this is the side cuts of three criteria. We have the D0 UV weighted UV for all of the UV in the A. So the step of the looping, this one is the looping criteria because we the repeated for the K one until the end for pairs UV and the V squared big v square so this is our pairs of every u and v because this is our start point and this is our end point with the v square so we can minimize the failure like this we can minimize like uh dk uv we minimize this case one we minimize case two and we minimize our uh, case three or criteria three and we can return until the iterations is convergent 
until you get the minimum error. So we can return until maybe the end, the end plus one, the end plus two, until maybe the end one thousands. It depends how complicated your problems. So if you're using the complicated problems, the step also will be large. The step also will be huge. That's why the goals of the every computing techniques, we have to solve the weighted value from the start from one location to the V locations. Later is similar if we talking about the Monte Carlo simulations. The goals also same. We have to minimize our weighted for the uh, one locations or another locations for our first iteration until last iteration to computing. So we've basically just shown about the theorem. So if there are no negative cycles, that's why I already talking about if there will be the negative value from the edge, you just have to ignore it because we are just concerned about the positive value of the edge. So if there are no negative cycles in the weighted director graph G, so we can uh, set as the Floyd Russell algorithm by running on G and returns a matrix DN. So that we also find the distance from the U to the V. So distance similar just like weight. So we also want if we are, if we if we are if we're talking about Jakarta in in Bogor or Jakarta and Jakarta, Jakarta Bogor will be provide our minimum weighted rather than the Jakarta and Jogja because. Uh, Jakarta and, and Bogor more be closer than the Jakarta and Jakarta. So that's why it's talking about the distance or weighted within the start from one location to our last point or V. So we can run in time by using this criteria. It also can be uh, said as the iterative computing. So we also have two concerns about the complicated of our problem. So we can use this criteria rather than the BF and times. So for example, if we're using the and criteria, so we can also measure the time computing or running, running time computing. So the storage, the storage sometimes also not, um, we can using by the whole two and by n arrays and the original graph. Sometimes um, if we using these uh, methods to the industrial uh, industri uh, industrial research or logistic research, we can get many, many, um, many, many graph visualizations to solving the alternative solving our problems. Later I will show you in R. So sometimes um, how we talking the area negative cycles. If you if you think that uh Masrezi, if we using the uh, if we also have to concern about the negative value, it's okay. We can using that information as well with this criteria. We can using the Bellman Ford or we using the Ford Warsaw using the detect of negative cycle. If you think that neg uh, negative cycle is also necessary, if you think that the information is also useful for our research, that's okay. We also using, we, we can, uh, we also can use that information of negative cy uh, cycle. If there is a negative cycle, we can using the path from the V to V. So we can get uh, the one value here, V to V, that goes through the, all the n vertices that has cost less than zero. So still the threshold should be less than zero. So if the cost are uh, uh, larger than zero, we can use uh, this information. That's just the definition of negative cycle. If we uh, get the cost less than zero, so this should be the negative cycle of every edges. So we can using like this, the n, v, and v, which is uh, less than zero. So this is the criteria to eliminate the negative cycles for every edges. So check, later you can check, uh, you can check in every uh, iterations until it's convergent with the different V. So sometimes it also returned negative cycle. So it's okay for we also have the negative cycles for every age. So what we have learned about this, we already learned about the Floyd Russell algorithm, which is another example of the programming. So I already shown another example of um, the programming. Later, if you want to use this criteria to your research, a uh, best degree, it will be great because it will be also useful to maintain the industry logistic research. Maybe you can use these um, methods to ask your research, your research thesis. So the goal is also similar. We want to compute the all pairs of surface paths in direct weighted graph in time of the O and cubic. So we can compute, we can find 
the every all pair shortest path. That's why if example, if we're talking about Jakarta to Jogja, we can pass the Cirebon first, we can pass the Semarang first, and Tegal and other cities. So we can find the best way you want to reach that locations. The critical thinking is like that. It's very, very easy to find what kind of combinations with a different part of the even shortest distance at every locations in the logist in the logistic industry. So there is another example. Another example we want to define the, the longest simple path. It's okay. If we another idea of the programming, sometimes we can also using to find the longest simple path. So for example, we uh, we want to maximize the previous slide is also uh, the professor is talking about the minimize. So if you're using the longest, you're using the bigger, biggest, it also have to maximize. So we also can using the dynamic programming to longest simple part or maximal uh, or the biggest the part. So for example, what is the longest simple part from S to T? Well, we, we can using the S, B, T or, or, or the S, A, T, it's okay. Or S, B, T, that's fine. So this is how you solving the problems. So, we also can using the dynamic programming using the longest part from S to T, which is a uh, longest part from S to A. So we can using the S A, A to B, and B to T, and also longest part from the A to T, A to T. So this is um, the idea how to find the best way or, or to find the best uh, the bigger part from the S to T. But sometimes. Um, if you want to then using the dynamic program, sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, sometimes we think the our our methods is also useful. Sometimes it's not really useful. And yeah, sometimes we also have to find another another methods to talking uh, your issues. Now that's the art of the research. Sometimes what we know that sometimes it's not, uh, not solving our problems. So. Sometimes if you if you have the problem like this, it's because the sub problems uh, we can came up with the independent because we don't have any alternative information here. So the information is just uh go forward as A B T. So we don't have any any combinations or any comparisons to get or how to find the biggest uh the biggest uh step or biggest uh path to the S to T because there's no various combinations to the S to the T. So sometimes this criteria idea is also not useful to solving that because the longest simple part, the problem of the NP for the complete. We don't know of any polynomial time algorithm for it. Sometimes the P is also not useful using that. Maybe later you can use, uh, solve this issue using the Markov chain. We can uh, discuss about it by next week. So this is the recapitulations of our discussion. Two more sort of spot algorithm. So if you want to uh, use these informations to your research thesis, it's okay. You maybe can compare how the accuracy using the Bellman Ford or using the comparison of the Floyd versus for every single source of sort of part. Or you want to using the off of informations using the all pairs to find the sort of spot. So Bellman Ford and Floyd Russell is different style to solving the issue. The Bellman Ford is also is only for using the single source, but different with the Floyd Russell is using for the all pairs. So if if in the letter there's um maybe questions how to find a single source, yeah you you have to using the Bellman Ford. If the letter uh, questions also how to find the the sort of spec by using the all pairs information. Yeah, you can use in the Floyd Warsaw. So the recapitulation of the programming this is the fancy name for first for be up on the optimization problems into the smaller problems. That's why I'm talking about how we have the problems, the big problems. We have to see, we have to solve by smaller problems um, because we have to minimize the complicated of the other problems. That's why the bigger problem solving by smaller problem. You can by cut off, cut off one by one. And the second, the optimal solutions to the sub problem should be so solutions to the original problem. And we can also build the optimal solutions iteratively. That's why if you're talking about the computational methods, 
the goal is also how to find the iterative until it's convergent, until it can be closer to the zero. So the goals of the computing, it's also how to find methods, how to find the models. We can get the we can get the high accuracy and also the minimum weighted until it's convergence close to zero. So we can use in the net programming and take advantage of overlapping sub problems. Sometimes we also have the overlapping sub problems. We can use in the net programming to solving these issues in programming area. So you already learned about the linear programming, already learned about the non-linear programming, and also about the dynamic programming. Later, we will also discuss about the Monte Carlo. So next time, uh, we can uh, discuss about the dynamic programming. So I will show you about the advanced research on this uh, research. Wait. Wait. <clears throat> so this is the advanced reset, how to find the shortest path for every location. So this I using by R. Later, I will show you how to uh, compute by R. So R is kind of the software you can use to using the optimizations because there is many, many um, packets in R. You can use it for dynamic programming. You can use it for the basic statistic modeling, for econometrics, or for the others. Now, for example, this one is uh, the locations in the Milan from the Italy. So we want to see the best way if uh, there's the car accident. For example, maybe this one, uh, location of the car accidents, we can we have to find which uh, best way to um, pass that location. So I will share this code. Maybe you can uh, type later. So I called first library because we need this library to solve our computational. I run library, uh, this library, this library. And this one, for example, data set. Well, because uh, I have uh, two locations, X and Y, X and Y. So this is the information of the every edges of every variable. So I run. And because I have to transform from every uh, location, so I can use in the coordinate because I want to make the mapping for every location, for example, X and Y. So the exact point we have to mention is the latitude and longitude to the spatial. So I can use it like this. So because this is the computational, sometimes it we needs maybe 15 minutes or 10 minutes to using that value. Yeah, you can see that sometimes the heat matrix also not convergent to using this information. That's okay. So this is the high waste data. Okay. I run. Yeah, this is example. Maybe uh, this one also have the 10 point. For example, one point, two point, three point, or three locations. So maybe uh, this is the example of number of cars. So sometimes if you're using maybe the Google Google Maps or Waze, sometimes you also profit this uh, profit this information. For example, if you want if you want to get to these locations, maybe just not uh, have the choice to 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 go for these locations because uh, we, uh, you see that there's no road to no alternative road to solving that so this another two example Yeah, so this is our clear map. This is our clear map for in, in the Milan, Italy. So I want to uh, get the crash accident. For example, this location also have the crash accident, also a crash accident, crash accident. So we want to cut off how to find every location. So we want to get the traffic because uh, this car accident. So we can use in the memory picture here. Later, if you're interested in this resource, I can send this R to you. So later you can try it at home. So 
This is the example of the finding of the best uh, route. For example, because this one also have the traffic. For example, if uh, I start by location, this locations to this location, maybe I can get further by like this following this blue line. Ta -ta -ta -ta, until this one. So maybe this is the peak of the car accident. But I already uh, passed another accident or another traffic from this location. So the best way to start from this location to the this locations, maybe I can using the blue line like this until this location. So this is the idea or the advanced way using the dynamic programming. So later you can using this technique to the spatial area or the spatial research. Or another, another example, maybe about the industry logistic. Maybe if I have the, my own company, if I want to send the goods or my product to the client, so I can find the optimal, uh, optimal street, optimal way to minimize uh, the cost or, or the fuel to the logistic research. So this is the advanced way to solving that area. So another, maybe uh, like this, for example, this is the criteria. If I want to uh, using the maximum distance, using the two, maybe using the 2000 kilometer, you can set your own distance maybe you, you think that this is not useful maybe for another resource you can set another combination of the distance maybe later you can use in the 1000 or 500 yeah you can using like this for your advanced research to find the optimal way to get the optimal um the, the, the optimal solutions to solving the logistic research so this is the this is the advanced uh way or advanced research to the dynamic programming. So another one is, is about the Dijkstra algorithm. So this is the computational uh, programming. I can use in the library iGraph, maybe later in the practicum using the Excel, it's okay. So like this. So for example, this is, I have uh, sets of locations of the S, A, B, C, D, A, F, and Z. So this is the example of every location. So if I want to get further to the S to Z, start from Z until the end point of the uh, start point to the S and the point of the Z. So this is the example. So this is the weighted of information. Information of every S, for example, S to A is the three. For S to B is five. And A to S is three. This, this is only for example. So this example at every location. Example, I run it first, and I already have this data. Wait. So that's why, for example, this one start from A to the S, the value should be three. B to S, the value should be five. Until the end of the F to Z, the value should be two. So we also have to find the optimal, the optimal logistic or optimal, uh, optimal solution. For example, if using if uh, you want to start from Jakarta to the to Jakarta, maybe it costs maybe uh, one thousand rupiah or or another another rupiah. So for example, you're using the for example Cirebon to Jakarta, maybe uh, this one uh, five hundred thousand rupiah. So this is the example. If you're using from the A to locations, another start point to another uh, locations, you can uh, using the the kind of information. For example, co uh, total cost or another another economic uh, factors. Yeah, this is this the basic ways using the dynamic programming of the graph theory. So this is our example data. I have the values. I have the start point until the end point. This is our information about the weight. So I said like this. So I have the AL. Yeah, this is the start locations. A, start from the A to S, B to S, and S to A. So this is the example of the graph, every location, start location. So for example, is the more clear from the A to S, B to S, S to A, until F to Z. So this is, the example, this is our, our problem, how to find the optimal um, solutions. So I went first. Yeah, this is our, <clears throat> our graph. Visualizations start from S to the Z. 
For example, if I want to start S to Z, I can using the S, A, D, F, Z, or S, B, C, A, Z. So there's many, many combinations you can using. For example, you can using the S, S, C, F, Z is okay. Or you think the S, B, D, F, Z is okay. Yeah, it's up to you. So you can find how to get the optimal plot using that. So the find, so from this uh, function, this one, this, this functions of using the Dijkstra algorithm. So maybe uh, you can, uh, maybe you can, if you want to more clearly uh, learning about the computational, maybe in another course in data science, I teach uh, this information. So for example, if you're using, if you want to find the sort of spec with the S to Z, so if later using the logistic resource, we can get this information. So the sort of spec from this research is about uh, from the start from the start S to B to C to D F and Z. So this is our optimal plan. If we start from S, we can go further to the B. We can go further again to C. Move to D. Move to F and move to Z. So this is our optimal plan. If using this criteria. So. How about if we want to get the S to Z? So we can also can get like this. If we want to start from S to Z, we also can using start from the S, move to the F, move to the D, move to B, and move to A, and finish to S. Maybe because the value of this uh, question is similar, uh, oh, sorry, uh, smaller. So you, you have to concern what is the different every location is to, is to provide the high cost or the lowest cost. So because our goal is to find the shortest path from the S to Z, so we can using using the like this S, B, C, S, B, C, D, F, Z. If you start from the Z, so we can move Z to the F, to the D, to the B, to the A, to the S. So we can, um, using the priors of combination. So this is the goals of dynamic programming. So maybe I uh, think this is a good idea. You can use as your research, research, uh, research bachelor degree. It's okay, I can give this coding to you. <clears throat> so another example is about how to find the shortest path diagram or shortest path problems. So the code is similar, just like, just like my previous slide or my previous coding, the goal is have to find the shortest locations, for example, A to Z. Maybe you can using the A, B, uh, E, Z, or A, D, E, Z. It's up to you how, how you how you can measure about that. So the goal is similar. We want to get the shortest path with the, uh, minimize the distance with the two vertex, vertex A to Z. Or we want to uh, concern about the how the cost, the lowest cost, to the A and Z. So for example, if we want to solve this problem, we can using the programming to find the shortest distance, or shortest distance to every location. So this one, for example, if we uh, start from the A to Z, maybe we can using the A, B, A, B, C, Z. So we can um, substitute four plus three plus two. So we have the nine. So for example, A, B, F, Z, so it be a uh, six. So you can uh, substitute uh, three plus two plus one. So the equals would be a uh, six. For example, maybe you can using the A, B, E, Z. So maybe A, B, four, B, E, three, uh, this one, uh, one. Because uh, this one, the shortest, uh, four plus three minus one. So the, the value should be six because this is the cross of the uh, location from the B and one. So you have to minus B and uh, E. So for example, if you want to use the off information, it's okay. If you're using uh, the more best way is the A, D, E, B, Z, Z, because you want you don't want to eliminate all the information, that's fine, that's up to you. Maybe you can use in the off information. So the off information should be 13. So this is the example of the dynamic programming. So another example. Another example is how to find the shortest vertex and uh, the vertex A and vertex Z. So example, we have the another example, 
For example, A and B is four, B and D is five. So D and C is closest to the eight. So B and C is one, A and C is two, C and E is 10, E and Z is three, E and D is two, and D to Z is uh, six. So we can using this uh, criteria or CD code like this that I already taught you before in my previous slide. So we can using the looping because we have the four. Four E start from one to the end. So because our value is infinity, that's why, because we don't have any uh, criteria of combinations, that's why I set as infinity. LB1 infinity, we, uh, I can set the LA is the zero as of the element of the S is equal. So every S subsets of the S, I can begin with the U, start from the A, vertex not in the S, with the LU should be minimal or the shortest range. So every the S, the subset of the union of every the U, every U. So the subset of the U can be using the four or the vertices for the V, not in S. So we can using the LU plus WUV should be less than LV because this is our uh, last, last distance or last locations. That's why the value should be less than this location. And then we can compute by using this criteria. LV should be information LU plus W UV. So this is our criteria. And the side of code can be end. So this is the procedure of the using the Dijkstra information of Dijkstra programming. So from this information, so from this information and these uh, problems I can solve, for example, if using U and A, I can find the best, uh, the best way is uh, using the B, C, D, I, and Z. And you see these informations until if I using U and E should be V and Z. So until another, uh, another, another path, sort of, sort of path. So this is the example how to find the different sort of path. So another example is about the traveling assessment problem or TSP. So if TSP, if we, this are talking about, for example, if I start from Jakarta and want to be end to Jakarta, maybe I have to pass one location or another locations. For example, the, for example, if Jakarta to Jogja, maybe I drive by car, maybe I can pass the Cirebon, I can pass the Semarang, Tegal, and other cities. Because if I don't pass the, the, the locations on the city, I can reach the, the Jakarta. So the, the criteria or the assumptions, we have to, first visit that first and city, and we can finish until the narrow city. So narrow city should be, um, I can visit uh, one times per one cities. Yeah, I guess this is the criteria of the traveling lesson problem. So, and then the solutions after I, uh, I reach the Jakarta, then I have to back again to, to Jakarta. So this is the criteria or the conditions of the traveling assessment problem. So, for example, for example, this for, for for the three cities, for example, and equals to three. So this uh, it is kind of the alternative. For example, one, two, three, one, one, three, two, one, two, one, three, two, until uh, another example. So this example of traveling solution problem. So for example, this one, I start from uh, first locations to the two locations and uh, the three locations. I have to pass uh, the two, I also have to pass the three and back again to the, the last uh, cities to my start point. So I can use the one, two, three, one, or two, three, one, two, or three, one, two, three. So uh, maybe I can reverse one, three, two, one, or maybe using the two, one, three, two, or start from three, two, one, three. So this is the alternative way to using the traveling system problem. So we can start from one and uh, from the shortest sort us of, uh, or the start point one, or you want to you, um, start from another cities. It's up to you how you can using that on the programming using the traveling system problem. So this is the criteria. If you're using the four, uh, if you're using uh, three, three cities, that's why our data should be four because we also have to consider our step point. So that's why the cities, uh, the number of the observation series should be four because we can start from the zero, zero, one, two, three. So that's why we have the four values here. So we can start from the cities one until for example, another one city, one, two, three, four. So back again to one, or you want to using the one, 
four, three, two, one, it's okay. It's up to you how you see the problem. That's why I'm talking about if you assume the complexity of the programming, it depends how the critical thinking of the researcher because every researcher has different way to solve their own problems. So that's why the example of this one, the traffic station problem, it depends on you, how you see the problems. So there's many, many combinations of how to find the shortest value. For example, we have the three, uh, three path diagram. So we can use that uh, n minus one with, with combinatory. So for example, another one, we can use in the indirect graph by using the start point from the start until the end point. And maybe we can have this kind of alternative or combinations. So we can maybe uh, get the three multiplied by two and divided by two. So maybe we can using six times of alternative. If we're using half the three step ahead, or we're using the three kind of location. So maybe we can have the six alternative. And later, how about direct graph? So probably we can using from the start from the point, start point until the end point. Maybe you you want to um you you want to use another another city to visit. Maybe for example, you want to Jakarta to Jogja. Maybe you want to get back from Jakarta Jogja, uh, Jakarta. You can visit another city. Uh, it's okay. You you can using the directed uh, graph. So because you want to visit another city that uh, you already you want to uh, visit the city before you back to Jakarta. It's okay. So this is the example of the alternative every hat diagram from every location. For example, um, start point one until the four, for example, you can using the one, two, three, four, or you can using the one, two, four, three. It's up to you how you can uh, solve in the problem. That's why I can get the alternative of the, sol the solutions like this. So this is the alternative way how to solve the problems, for example, of the traveling certain problem. So here's we have, one, two, three, four, six. So we have uh, 24 alternative. We have 24 alternative to solving the traveling certain problem. So example, the letter, maybe I can using the lattice, uh from the last location, it's okay. Four, three, two, one, and back again to four, it's okay. Or I want to using the two, three, four, one, and back again to four, it's okay. And it is the alternative way, how to solve in the salesman problem. So, for example, if we have another criteria with the TSP equals to N uh, is the four. For example, this one for the undirect graph. For example, we want to use in the two path for two-way traffic. For example, one, two, three, four. So for example, from these cases, I can get the alternative uh, path diagram using the one, two, three, four, back to again to one, or two, three, four, one, two, back again again to two, until maybe I can using the four, three, two, one, four. If I want to reverse, that's okay. So every distance will provide different cost. So it's up to you how you can get the minimum every um, alternative, the problem solving. Sometimes I think it is uh, provide the lowest lowest cost. Maybe if you if you use the same questions, maybe you can get another another insight. So that's why every researcher has different way to solve their problems. So for example, of using the traveling system problem, I can get I can get the 24 combinations of alternative to solving this information. So for example, like this, if I want to using um these informations, for example, I want just want to cut off from the one four and I just delete it, I can using the one, two. One, one, two, four, three, one. One, two, four, three, one. So it should be have to reverse for four to two because there is no information here. So maybe if I want to use the indirect graph because I don't want to get forward from this information, I can use the one, two, and one, two, make again this, uh, uh, this uh, pad. One, two, four, three, one. So maybe because uh, the for one not as maybe good for the locations probably if you have maybe another another uh, questions or another another example of the problem we can use it like this so for example this one for the alternative uh, alternative fact for every locations also can using for start the one three and get again for four 
and back again refers to two until the one. So this example from the indirect graph. For example, because maybe uh, four to one also have the traffic or the car accident or um, another disaster, probably, for example, um, to sense the goods, for example, uh, the, uh, for the location for one, maybe the, the flood or another tragedy. So we also have to find another alternative, uh, that of alternative way. So for, for example, like this, I can using, for example, one, two, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, three, and one, or one, three, four, back again refers to, to one. To exam this example of the indirect graph. So the example, how if, for example, we have the two way, but we have also have two traffic, so we have traffic. So the good idea if you're using the one, two, three, four, and back again to one. So this is the example. Another for example, I can use in the one, four, and three, because there's a traffic, one, four, three, two, and one. So this is the example of the indirect graph. If we if uh if the 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 question is about how they have the two part and two way of traffic. So another one, another one example is about how if they have one way traffic. So if they want one way traffic, so the best idea if you can use it like this one, two, three, four, one. So because there's one way, one um one way, or using the one forty two one. So this is the example of the track graph with the problem one way traffic. So later maybe there's many many problem you can uh solving from these problems. So this only for example. So this is our book about the week nine about the dynamic programming. You can get more further information on the chapters 11, dynamic programming. Chapters 11, page 169. Okay. Here, I already uh, make group, group discussions. So for example, group one, group one should uh, finish the homework with the questions 11 to one, 11 to two until an end 11, uh, three one. So every group uh, have the three members, oh sorry, four members until the eight groups. So I hope every group can discuss how to solve kind of dynamic programming in, in that, that book. So I already upload to the MS. Maybe you can solve it by um next week, maybe. So I already set the MS. So we have the a group here. So every group uh, has uh, different problems. We have uh, three problems here. So later you can discuss by by your own group. So for example, group two, group two should finish uh, these uh, problems 11 to 3, 11, 3, 2, and 11. Three, one, ten. So this one is—is is it very easy? I bet it's—it's it's very easy to finish this. 
I think these are more useful if you can uh, solving by by group. So for example, group one, group one should be uh, finish this uh, question. So you can using the the DEM programming. What are steps and steps for the programming formation of this problem? So you, maybe you can set uh, the kind of the step. For example, uh, O to A, B, and to E to T. If you think it is the shortest path, yeah, it's okay. If you think the shortest path is the O to B to the E to the T, is, uh, is it okay or not? Uh, you can find the answer. So maybe also you have to find the dynamic programming to solve this problem. However, you can using the actual tables of another insight that I already talked before. So maybe you can using also dynamic programming to solve this problem by manually. Yeah, it is more useful. Or later, maybe you can use Excel how to find that. So I hope every group can solving this um, these issues or the problem because we don't have the final sum. We have the we don't we don't have a final exam. The final exam is only presentations. So that, that's why I have to measure your own score. So that's all for our class today. Any question? Can I ask a question? Excuse me? Um, can I ask a question? Sure, go ahead. Um, regarding the homework, do we have, um, can we use Excel for the sure, answer? Sure, sure, sure. Or do we have to handwrite the answer? No worries. It depends on you. If you're more convenient to use Excel, it's okay. If you think the more convenient using the manual, it's also okay. If you think R is also useful, you can use, use R as well. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, sorry, sir, I want to ask a question. Sure, go ahead, Alia. Uh, so do all of the members submit or only one person, sir? Only one person. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, no worries. Okay, if you don't have any questions, I can stop uh, today's class and see you next week. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day.